All right, let's look at uh, simplifying expressions uh, with exponents. So uh, here in the first one we have 2 squared times 2 to the third. Now since we're multiplying and the bases are the same, the 2 and the 2, that means we add the exponents. So this would be 2 raised to the 2 plus 3, which equals 2 to the 5th, which is 32. Okay. This right here is the property a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n. If the bases are the same, we add the exponents. Let's take a look at this one. We have division. The bases are the same, the 2 and the 2, so I subtract the exponents. So this would be 2 to the 7 minus 5 equals 2 squared, which equals 4. The property I used here is a to the m over a to the n equals a to the m minus n. If I'm dividing, the bases are the same, you subtract the exponents. Now, let's look at this. We have negative exponents. So, whenever we're simplifying, we want our exponents to be positive. So, for the first one here, you can look at this as being over 1. Now, to make the exponent positive, I can take this 9 to the negative 2 and move it down here to the denominator. So that would give me 1 over, and since I'm moving it down to the denominator, it changes the sign of the exponent. It changes it to a positive exponent. So this is equal to 1 over 81. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Look at this is being over 1. So I want to make the exponent positive, so I'm going to move the negative 2 to the negative 5 down to the denominator. So that will give me 1 over negative 2 raised to the fifth. Now it doesn't change the sign of the negative 2, it only changes the sign of the exponent. So this will give me 1 over and negative 2 to the fifth is negative 32. Here I have 1 over 6 to the negative 2. Well, I want to make this negative 2 exponent positive, so I'm going to move this up to the numerator. And by moving it to the numerator, it changes the sign of the exponent. So this is going to give me 6 squared, and 6 squared is 36. There's my answer. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Look at this as being over 1. I need my exponents to be positive. So the only negative exponent I have is on this x here, x to the negative 5. I want to make that positive so I'm going to move it to the denominator. Everything else stays up top because the exponents are positive on the y and the 7. So this gives me 7y squared over, and I move this down, x to the fifth. And there's my answer. Now let's take a look at this one. 2 squared raised to the third. So the property I'm going to use here is a to the m raised to the n equals a to the m times n. I multiply the two. And I'm going to use this property on all three of these problems. So for this one, I have 2 raised to the 2 times 3, which is 2 to the 6th, and that is 64. 
and there's my answer. Okay, here I have y to the 5 times negative 3, which is y to the negative 15. I have a negative exponent, so I'm going to make it positive. So I put this over 1, and I'm going to move this down to the denominator. So this is 1 over y to the positive 15. There's my answer. Same thing here, multiply. I get x to the negative 4 times negative 2, which is going to be x to the 8. Let's look at some more examples. On this problem, I'm going to use the property A. Let me change the color. I'm going to use A B raised to the N equals A to the N B to the N. I raise each term inside the parentheses to this exponent out here. So I'm going to raise each one of these terms to this fourth power. So I get negative 2 raised to the fourth times y squared raised to the fourth. So now I have negative 2 to the fourth, which is 16. And then here I multiply. So 2 times 4, that's y to the eighth and there's my answer here on the second problem I'm going to use the property a over b to the n equals a to the n over b to the n I raise each one to this exponent out here so this is going to give me x squared raised to the third over 4 raised to the third. So this is I multiply so I get x to the sixth over 64. Alright now let's take a look at these. Okay. I'm going to raise each term inside the parentheses to this third power. So I get negative 3 raised to the third, x to the fourth raised to the third, and y to the fifth raised to the third. So this is negative 27, and here I multiply, so I get x to the twelfth. Here I multiply 5 times 3, so y to the 15th, and there's my answer. Okay, let's look at this one. I'm multiplying, so I've got negative 7 times negative 2 is 14, and then x times x to the 5th, I'm multiplying. I have like bases, so I add the exponents, and remember, this exponent here is understood to be a 1. So I have x to the 1 plus 5. And then y to the 4th times y to the 6th. That's going to be y to the 4 plus 6. So this is 14x to the 6th, y to the 10th. How about this one? Well, here I have negative 35 over 5. So this cancels. 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 goes into negative 35. I'm left with negative 7. So that's going to be negative 7. And then here I'm dividing. So I subtract the exponent. See I have like bases here with the x's 
and then I also have like bases here with the y so I subtract the exponents here so that's going to give me x to the 2 minus 6 times y to the 4 minus negative 8 so I get negative 7 x to the negative 4 y to the 12th now I have a negative exponent so I need to make this positive so I put this over 1 and I take the x to the negative 4 and I'm going to move it down to the denominator so this is going to give me negative 7 y to the 12th over and I move this down so it changes the sign so I get x to the positive 4 and there's my answer. Let's take a look at one more. Okay, here I want to simplify what's inside the parentheses first before I raise each term to the third power. So here you can see 10 goes into 10 once, 10 goes into negative 30, negative 3. So I have negative 3 okay I have like bases the same base dividing and here also so I'm going to subtract the exponents so I get x to the 14 minus 17 to make that 14 a little bit better minus 17 and y to the 8 minus negative 2 and all of that is raised to this third power okay so now I have negative 3 x to the negative 3 y to the tenth all that to the third power so I raise each term to this third power so I get negative 3 raised to the third x to the negative 3 raised to the third y to the tenth raised to the third so here I have negative 3 to the third is negative 27 here I multiply so I got x to the negative 3 times 3 which is x to the ninth and I multiply 10 times 3 so that's y to the 30th I'm sorry this should be a negative 9 negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 put this over 1 I need to make this exponent positive so I move it to the denominator so I get negative 27 y to the 30th and the x to the negative 9 comes down so that's x to the positive 9 now we don't mess with this negative 27 because the negative is not in the exponent it's out in front so the negative 27 stays in the numerator and there's my answer and that's all of simplifying exponents